Hello everyone, my name is Durga. I am an automobile expert and I welcome you all in Vehicle Academy. Today we will be learning about what is an automobile and we will be learning about the full introduction of automobile, history of automobile and the components of automobile which will be the major components of automobile. Automobile is made by two words, auto plus mobile. Auto means automatic and mobile means motion when a vehicle is having automatic motion that is called automo automobile and it should be on road like the automatic motion should be on road that is called automobile if you need to know the scientific definition of an automobile so a self propelled vehicle self propelled vehicle means a vehicle which will be propelled by itself a self propelled vehicle powered by an ic engine electric motor steam engine for transportation of goods or passenger on road that is called automobile vehicle powered by an ic engine or steam engine or electric motor used for transportation of goods and passenger on road that is called automobile now we will be learning about the history of automobile the brief history of an automobile Around 1769, Nicholas Joseph Cagnot built the first self-propelled steam-powered road vehicle. The name of vehicle was military tractor for the French army. And that was the first vehicle made by anyone in 1769. The name of researcher was Nicholas Joseph Cagnot and the name of vehicle was military tractor. So this is the first vehicle ever made and after that in 1885 Carl Friedreich Bench from Germany built the first gasoline automobile powered by an internal combustion engine where the source power is IC engine and the third vehicle is in 1885 in 1888 German inventor Andreas Flocken presented Flocken electro wagon, the first real car of the world, or you can say the first electric car of the world. Here the source power is battery or electricity, and the vehicle name is electric car. So I have shown you three different different vehicle. First one is, was having the source power steam. Second one was having the source power IC engine. Third one is having the power electricity or battery so these are the three difference between all the vehicle which was in the history and there are a lot of changes came in all those vehicles which came from 17th century 18th and 19 right now there are a lot of changes came in the vehicle so we'll be learning about, learning about all those changes and we'll be adding the component also of all the vehicle so let's see one by one component so the first is your braking braking system or you can call it brakes what is the use of brake and what is the brake brake is used to stop or slow down the vehicle Basically, it was searched in uh, 1901 by Frederick Williamson Lanchester and it is used to stop and slow the vehicle. Initially, there was two braking was coming drum and disc brake. Now, there are a lot of changes came into the braking system as well. And the next one is your aerodynamics. What is aerodynamics? Basically, the effect of air on the vehicle whenever vehicle is in motion then the effect of air which comes on the vehicle so vehicle gets some stability vehicle gets some cooling so this for maintaining the stability of vehicle we use aerodynamics and next one is your automatic transmission system automatic transmission system means first of all you have to understand what is transmission system transmission system means the power which is generated by the engine the power which is generated by the engine should transfer from engine to the wheel that is called transmission and what is the automatic transmission system automatic means the power which is generating in the engine it should transfer to the wheel without manually changing the gears and all so we are using two devices here one is called planetary gear another one is known as uh, top converter for transferring power from engine to the wheel 
next one is your electronics indicator right now it's very important to follow the rules regulation laws that is made by indian government so everyone needs to understand what is electronics indicator and how it got changed and there are different different electronic indicator comes into the market and for left right for taking turns like everywhere we are using electronics indicator and next one is air conditioning we are using for comfort we are using for uh, comfort in the vehicle and next one is your power steering basically power steering is a steering system where the human effort is getting less but the output should be very high means once you will be keeping your finger and you will be taking the turn easily it will be taking left or right because the power steering system which we are using it means that you human effort should be very less and the power output should be very high next one is your seat belt basically we do use for safety purpose so everyone needs to use seat belt while driving the car it, it also follow the law of momentum next one is your airbags it is also used for safety purpose when everyone used to uh, travel in the vehicle so they need to keep uh, airbags also in the vehicle because once the during the accident airbags open it save the driver and passenger also in the car next one is greater use of plastic so for making a highly aesthetics and uh, ergonomics for making highly ergonomics the companies are using plastics for maintaining the beauty of car for uh, signing up the car so it also used to uh, deduct in weight so the speed matters like when weight weight will reduce then speed of car will be high or speed of the car will be very much so at the same time we can say that companies are using highly plastics material in manufacturing and next one is your awd all wheel drive system all wheel drive system means uh, the power will be transferred from engine to each wheel and suppose one wheel will stuck somewhere so while moving another wheel we can move our car further next one is abs abs stand for anti locking braking system which is used to unlock the braking system once you will apply the brake on the vehicle so what happens sometimes your wheel is going to be locked while applying the brake so using abs there will be pressure release valve so using that valve easily like you can release the pressure and immediate the wheel will be unlocked so that is called abs anti locking braking system it prevent it prevent vehicle from skating next one is your efi electronic fuel injection system which is used to inject the fuel in engine next one is computer diagnostic it will diagnose the problem in the vehicle suppose uh, if you are using a computer diagnostic system and if you do have some problem in your vehicle in engine so computer diagnostic system will tell you the problem is in in engine it will not tell you the problem in suspension system or any other place so computer diagnostic is also having important role in vehicle next one is your gps gps stand for ground positioning system like where exactly your car is located you can go through the gps global positioning system and you can find out where exactly your car now we will be learning what is the indian automobile industry so the first car in india it came in 1897 or you can say easily the first car ran on indian road in 1897 an embryonic automotive industry emerged in india in 1940s hindustan was launched in 1942 long time competitor premier in 1944 mahindra and mahindra was established by two brother in 1945 and began assembly of jeep cz3a utility vehicles and tata motors also began in the same time uh in 1945 also the first car of tata was tata sierra and the growth was relatively slow in in the 1950s and 1960s due to nationalization and the license raj which hampered the indian private sector in 1980s suzuki and toyota of japan and hyundai of south korea were allowed to invest in the indian market 
ultimately leading to the establishment of an automotive industry in India. To promote the auto industry, the government started Delhi Auto Expo, which had its debut showcasing in 1986. The majority of India's car manufacturing industry is based around three clusters in the south, west, and north, with revenue share of 35%, 33%, and 32% respectively. In south, it's a near about Chennai, west near about Gujarat, and north near about Delhi, Haryana. This is the cluster of India. So now we'll be discussing about the major parts of an automobile or main parts of the automobile. So main part of an automobile is chassis. Chassis is, chassis is only the main or single unit carrier where we are going to implement all the major parts of the vehicle and we use to make as a vehicle. So chassis is the important one. A part of chassis will be having suspension and steering system and then we'll be having transmission system, braking system fuel supply system and engine and electrical and electronic device. So these main parts of an automobile will be discussing in the next video in detail. We'll be discussing about chassis, suspension, steering, transmission, braking, fuel supply, engine and electrical and electronic parts. We'll be discussing about all these parts in the next video. And after that, um, I'll show you the vehicle anatomy, exactly which parts will be on which particular position in the car. So this is the vehicle anatomy where you can see exactly the part located in which particular place. And thank you for watching the video.